Chapter 16 The allotment of the people of Joseph went from the Jordan by Jericho, east of the waters of Jericho, into the wilderness, going up from Jericho into the hill country to Bethel. Then going from Bethel to Luz, it passes along to Adaroth, the territory of the Archites. Then it goes down westward to the territory of the Japhletites, as far as the territory of lower Beth Horon, then to Gezer, and it ends at the sea. The people of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim received their inheritance. The territory of the people of Ephraim by their clans was as follows. The boundary of their inheritance on the east was Adaroth Adar, as far as upper Beth Horon, and the boundary goes from there to the sea. On the north is Michmatheth, then on the east the boundary turns around toward Tanath Shiloh, and passes along beyond it on the east to Genoa, then it goes down from Genoa to Adaroth and to Neara, and touches Jericho, ending at the Jordan. From Tapua the boundary goes westward to the brook Cana, and ends at the sea. Such is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Ephraim by their clans, together with the towns that were set apart for the people of Ephraim within the inheritance of the Manassites, all those towns with their villages. However, they did not drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer. So the Canaanites have lived in the midst of Ephraim to this day, but have been made to do forced labor. Chapter 17 Then allotment was made to the people of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph. To make her the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, were allotted Gilead and Bashan, because he was a man of war. And allotments were made to the rest of the people of Manasseh by their clans, Abiezer, Helek, Azrael, Shechem, Hefer, and Shemida. These were the male descendants of Manasseh the son of Joseph by their clans. Now Zelophehad had the son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Maker, son of Manasseh, had no sons but only daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. They approached Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the leaders and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance along with our brothers. So according to the mouth of the Lord he gave them an inheritance among the brothers of their father. Thus there fell to Manasseh ten portions, besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, which is on the other side of the Jordan because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance along with his sons. The land of Gilead was allotted to the rest of the people of Manasseh. The territory of Manasseh reached from Asher to Michmathath, which is east of Shechem. Then the boundary goes along southward to the inhabitants of Entapua. The land of Tapua belonged to Manasseh, but the town of Tapua on the boundary of Manasseh belonged to the people of Ephraim. Then the boundary went down to the brook Cana. These cities to the south of the brook, among the cities of Manasseh, belong to Ephraim. Then the boundary of Manasseh goes on the north side of the brook and ends at the sea, the land to the south being Ephraim's, and that to the north being Manasseh's, with the sea forming its boundary. On the north Asher is reached, and on the east Issachar. Also in Issachar and in Asher, Manasseh had Bethshean and its villages, and Iblium and its villages, and the inhabitants of Dor and its villages, and the inhabitants of Endor and its villages, and the inhabitants of Tanak and its villages, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its villages. The third is Naphath. Yet the people of Manasseh could not take possession of those cities, but the Canaanites persisted in dwelling in that land. Now when the people of Israel grew strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. Then the people of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given me but one lot and one portion as an inheritance, although I am a numerous people, since all along the Lord has blessed me? And Joshua said to them, If you are a numerous people, go up by yourselves to the forest, and there clear ground for yourselves in the land of the Perizzites and the Rephaim, since the hill country of Ephraim is too narrow for you. The people of Joseph said, The hill country is not enough for us, yet all the Canaanites who dwell in the plain have chariots of iron, both those in Bethshean and its villages and those in the valley of Jezreel. Then Joshua said to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, You are a numerous people and have great power. You shall not have one allotment only, but the hill country shall be yours. 
for though it is a forest, you shall clear it and possess it to its farthest borders. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have chariots of iron, and though they are strong. Chapter 18 Then the whole congregation of the people of Israel assembled at Shiloh and set up the tent of meeting there. The land lay subdued before them. There remained among the people of Israel seven tribes whose inheritance had not yet been apportioned. So Joshua said to the people of Israel, How long will you put off going in to take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you? Provide three men from each tribe, and I will send them out, that they may set out and go up and down the land. They shall write a description of it with a view to their inheritances, and then come to me. They shall divide it into seven portions. Judah shall continue in his territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall continue in their territory on the north. And you shall describe the land in seven divisions and bring the description here to me. And I will cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. The Levites have no portion among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their heritage. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan eastward, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. So the men arose and went, and Joshua charged those who went to write the description of the land, saying, Go up and down in the land and write a description and return to me, and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went and passed up and down in the land and wrote in a book a description of it by towns in seven divisions. Then they came to Joshua to the camp at Shiloh, and Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua apportioned the land to the people of Israel, to each his portion. The lot of the tribe of the people of Benjamin according to its clans came up, and the territory allotted to it fell between the people of Judah and the people of Joseph. On the north side their boundary began at the Jordan. Then the boundary goes up to the shoulder north of Jericho, then up through the hill country westward, and it ends at the wilderness of beth -Avon. From there the boundary passes along southward in the direction of Luz, to the shoulder of Luz, that is Bethel, then the boundary goes down to Adaroth Adar, on the mountain that lies south of Lower Beth Horon. Then the boundary goes in another direction, turning on the western side southward from the mountain that lies to the south, opposite Beth Horon, and it ends at Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, a city belonging to the people of Judah. This forms the western side, and the southern side begins at the outskirts of Kiriath Jerim. And the boundary goes from there to Ephron, to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah. Then the boundary goes down to the border of the mountain that overlooks the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is at the north end of the valley of Rephaim. And it then goes down to the valley of Hinnom, south of the shoulder of the Jebusites, and downward to Enrogel. Then it bends in a northerly direction, going on to Enshemesh, and from there goes to Galilath, which is opposite the ascent of Adummim. Then it goes down to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and passing on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Araba, it goes down to the Araba. Then the boundary passes on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Hogla, and the boundary ends at the northern bay of the Salt Sea, at the south end of the Jordan. This is the southern border. The Jordan forms its boundary on the eastern side. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin according to their clans, boundary by boundary all around. Now the cities of the tribe of the people of Benjamin, according to their clans, were Jericho, Bethogla, Emekizes, Beth Araba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Pera, Ophra, Kephar Ammonai, Ophni, Geba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, Ramah, Beeroth, Mizpah, Kephira, Moza, Rechem, Erpiel, Taralah, Zila, Eileph, Jebus, that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiriath Jerim, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin according to its clans.